take responsibility today so as not to end up in liability tomorrow. Every child of God is redeemed an asset to his world. Ye are the salt of the earth. You carry a value that the world will keep seeking after. Salt deficiency can lead to all kinds of health issues. Once upon a time, salt was what determined the economy, the strength of the economy of each nation. And so every child of God is redeemed an asset of inestimable value to his world. But it is taking responsibility that makes that a reality. George Washington would say, responsibility is a price for greatness. Responsibility has its root in self-discipline. He also said, discipline is the soul of an army. It makes small numbers formidable. It procures success to the weak and esteem to all. All this form of fear Christianity won't take you anywhere, sir. Responsibility is the cure for liability. How much taste you have for the world today is what defines the limits of your future tomorrow. For as far as your eyes can see from the world that I have given unto you. This should be your world addiction season. Be addicted to God and his world. So take what study responsibility today. It will give color and meaning to your life tomorrow. The discoveries you make today, they are the recoveries awaiting you tomorrow. So wake up, take responsibility. It's good that a man takes responsibility in his youth or he will end up a liability in adult age. What you read, what you know, and even what you preach does not change you. It is what you do with what you read, what you discover, what you find that does. You do nothing with it, it will add nothing to you. So I was enjoying the challenges of my early days. I saw me being prepared for my flying days. I saw the eaglet being let out of the nest so he could strengthen his wings and go on. What you assess today is what awaits you tomorrow. Go find it. From 20 years upward, you are responsible for the choices you make. You are responsible for the purpose you discover. You are responsible for where your future is headed. So we are to locate the race we belong to at 20 and prove it by the time we are 30 and then be listed as a prize winner between 30 and 50. Now, this is his schedule. There could be intervention of grace like in the case of Abraham. But you, now, you have the opportunity. Many of you have left the bracket now of 20 and 30. It takes grace. Only young men can run. Old men can only walk. Now, Joseph, at the age of 30, began to reign. Genesis 41 and verse 46. David, at 30, began to reign. Second Samuel, chapter 5 and verse 4. Now, Christ, our perfect example. Luke chapter 3, verse 23. He began to be 30 years old when he exploded into his messianic ministry. That's how sensitive that age is. So the 30s are your season of entry. So be cautious about these times and seasons and don't while away your time only to regret it tomorrow. So wake up and take responsibility. Please wake up. It's for your good. You are the sole beneficiary of every step you take in the right direction.